guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, I am Ana Maria and you are watching Miracle Orchids, the place you can learn everything there is to know about growing orchids. In this video we are going to report my uh, new uh, Paphiopetalum blackjack. Um, normally I would not recommend to report uh, it when it is in bloom but mine it is heavily infested in snails and uh, usually Paphiopetalums don't produce really huge root systems so you really don't want uh, any snails uh, munching on it. Also the medium I have noticed is decomposed and it is a bark medium uh, with coconut husk but it is not uh, really sticking uh, to the roots look how easy it uh, detaches so uh, I thought uh, the orchid won't be really stressed uh, in case uh, yours is spotted uh, differently you should make sure you make uh, you provide uh, enough time uh, for the orchid to completely remove the uh, medium without uh, disturbing the roots I actually found some uh, snail eggs I have I'm not sure if you will be able to see I have a little egg in here and another one in here so this one was uh, really in a, um, a huge danger of uh, starting to decline if I would have uh, left it uh, like this for more time so uh, all the roots are alive in here uh, except uh, one from the bottom but I will not worry for that. So uh, at this point I need to go to the sink and uh, clean off uh, a bit this dust. And then we are going to spray the heck out of this orchid with hydrogen peroxide to kill off all the possible uh, snails that might still be on the orchid or snail eggs. And uh, then she is going to be potted in uh, semi-hydro because my Paphiopetalums absolutely love this setup. So I am quite happy that uh, the medium is not very sticky because I did not produce any single wound in the uh, roots and uh, also um, my gosh if you, could, if you could see what I see there are so so many eggs and snails in here look another snail so yeah not good at all. Okay, so the orchid has been sitting now uh, for about 10 minutes uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, the effect is gone so uh, it has fizzed all uh, it could. Right now it is not fizzing anymore so now I will put a bit of leca on the base because I just don't want to put uh, these roots directly in the reservoir. They will uh, have a high chance of rotting because they uh, would be put exactly in the water. They uh, might actually survive in a higher rate if you put uh, them uh, on top of the reservoir. When you are reporting uh, Psychopsis orchids, uh, you need to remember that these orchids hate to have the base of the roots um, on top of the medium or uh, actually the stem of the little uh, fans. So uh, uh, what that means it is that you need to make sure it uh, is a bit more low. So I would put a, a centimeter uh, more down than the upper uh, part of the pot because uh, uh, that uh, from here uh, we will have a lot of moisture. We will have uh, always a dry line in semi-hydro which uh, in my case is at about one centimeter and uh, then uh, the orchid will have its base on constant moisture which will encourage new root uh, growth. Uh, if you put a, a Paphia petalum orchid uh, with the base on a very dry air or dry environment the roots will stop growing so uh, I will go ahead and fill up the pot. And I think uh, this now looks uh, very good. I will go ahead and water it. And uh, if you don't know how to care for these orchids, I will leave you a link with my uh, care tutorial for Paphiopetalum. Uh, my orchids grow really, really well like this. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!